Hello, my name is Dr. Lauren Hyman and welcome to Scooch Down, where you can talk to your gynecologist like you talk to your friends. I want to address the issue of group B strep in pregnancy. Group B strep is a bacteria that is related to the bacteria that causes strep throat. That's strep A. We're talking about strep B. Strep B colonizes the intestines of many people at any given time and can colonize the vagina of certain women. When we culture all women, between one in four and one in five is actually positive for group B strep. It is not a sexually transmitted disease and can come and go. If I do a culture on a woman who is not pregnant, who is complaining of infection symptoms and I see group B strep, I usually don't bother to treat it. It is not something that causes symptoms of an infection. So why do I care about it in pregnancy? Well, it can cause newborn illness and that can be very devastating. So if we know a woman is colonized in her vagina with group B strep, we treat her prophylactically with antibiotics. How do I know she's colonized? Well, we do a culture on all women between 35 and 37 weeks, a culture of the vagina and the rectum with a swab. We send it to the lab, and if the woman is positive for group B strep, we treat them again with prophylactic antibiotics, generally penicillin if the woman is not allergic. We like them to have at least two doses, four hours apart and that prophylactically treats the baby before the baby comes through the birth canal. We're not treating the woman. We're not trying to clear the bacteria from the woman's vagina. It would take too long to do that. We're actually trying to have the baby have antibiotics on board to treat the baby prophylactically. This decreases the risk of the baby getting a group B strep newborn infection from one in 200 to one in 4,000. If the woman's allergic to penicillin, we use a different type of antibiotic. If we already know the woman is group B strep positive, perhaps she had a urine culture done earlier in her pregnancy that showed group B strep, we don't need to bother doing that swab later on. We just treat her as if she's positive. This is a little bit of information about group B strep prophylaxis and group B strep testing in pregnancy. I hope you've learned something. This has been Dr. Lauren Hyman. Thanks for tuning in to Scooch Down.